Statistics and Excel, Statistical Inference, Questions of How Close and How Confident. Got data? Let's get stuck into it with Statistics and Excel. Introduction to Statistical Inference. Statistical inference is the process of using data from a sample to make estimates or test hypotheses about a population. You will recall from prior presentations, we talked about two major buckets or categories of statistics. The first bucket being where we know all the information. We have all the data. Our goal is to try to organize that data in such a way that we can draw meaning from it using tools such as mathematical tools like calculating the average or the mean, the median, the quartiles, and so on, and using pictorial tools such as the box and whiskers or box plot and the histogram. The second major bucket of statistics, what we're focused in on now, is where we don't know all of the data for the entire population. However, we might be able to get like a sample data of the population. And what we want to do there is to try to extract meaning from the sample data that we have. Once we have extracted that meaning, we're hoping that we can infer some of that meaning onto the entire population. So inference, the major thing that comes to most people's mind is an election type of situation where people, the pollers, are trying to take polls to determine what the results of the election will be by taking a sample of the population and seeing if they can infer the results they have there to what's gonna happen in the entire voting population when the actual election happens. So note, in this type of statistical analysis, the actual sample that we're looking at, the data that we're actually analyzing is not the, the goal. That's not the important point. Those people are not important in and of themselves. They're important as people, but not for the statistical poll. What we're getting at, what we're trying to get at is the inferring of the entire population. We're looking for meaning for the entire population. So we're gonna use similar tools as with the first bucket of statistics, where we're just trying to extract meaning if we already know the entire population, meaning for the sample, we're still gonna be looking at things like the average, the mean, the median, and so on, the spread of the data. But what we're hoping to do once we know that is infer that on the entire population so we have predictive power about the entire population. So the key goal is to pro provide an approximate description of the larger population based on the observable data from a smaller uh, sample. So the small sample, it's not our goal to just know everything about the small sample. We want to know information about the small sample so that we can infer that to the larger population. So how close uh, the shape, center, and spread of just some of the population is to the shape, center, and spread of the whole population. You will recall from prior presentations, oftentimes when we're looking at a data set, what we want to get from that data set is what's going to be the middle point of, of the data set, what's going to be uh, the shape of the data set, uh, and so on. And so we want to know those characteristics for the sample, but not so that we can understand the sample more, but so we can infer that and say, is this going to be similar for the entire population? It's the entire population that is important, although we're going to be analyzing, of course, the sample in a similar way as we did when we knew the entire population and we're just trying to get an understanding of, of the data that we have. And then this question of how confident we are gets to be quite tricky and we'll dive into that more in future presentations. We just want to get a 